Two of the top prep schools on the south side came into the contest with high ambitions to shut the other out. In their last two games, Corliss was 82-6 and, and King was 90-0. and zero. Starting the game with the ball were the Jaguars playing a series of short passes and runs to get them down to the 11-yard line. Taking the pass was senior quarterback Jaden Thomas who flicked the rock to Matthew Chapman. He made his way right into the end zone. The Jaguars were ready to attack on defense and Justin Williams picked off the quarterback for a pick six on King's first defensive play. Late in the second, Thomas stepped back in the pocket, scanning the field from left to right to find Chapman standing on the sidelines to set up a touchdown the next play. Jaden Thomas connected to Dennis Kodna running past defenders for a score. It was more bad luck for the Trojans, where they turned over the ball to Lamar Dean, who caught it off the receiver's hands. The offensive coordinator for King told his men if they scored now, there would be no way for the Trojans to come back, and he was right. Nathaniel Guy forced his way into the end zone for the final score of the half and the WCCN play of the game. After, King put up two more touchdowns, only allowing one in the final seconds of the game. Corliss 6, King 40. We knew we could get out there and see. We knew we could pressure this team. They had a couple guys, number one and number two. We felt like if we could play some different coverage, we was good. Put another package in this week. So we just came after them. We wanted to pressure the quarterback. Ball goes in the air. I feel like my guys can get home and guys can make plays on the ball. We did that today. Having three passing touchdowns was Jaden Thomas, but years ago he never expected to play quarterback. I've been playing football. This is going into my third year. I started at King sophomore year. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be a, a QB, but Cote pulled me to the side, asked me to play, and it's been a journey ever since. Thomas then walked us through his scoring plays. On the first touchdown play, I knew I had to get the ball to my best player, number 14, Matthew Chapman. I knew he was a dog. I knew I knew to get the ball to him. Second play, uh, it was a pass. I knew they was going to blitz that play, and so I, uh, I hit the bubble backside, and it was just calm. I trusted my gut. I knew he was going to jump. I side-armed it and just got my third touchdown of the day looking for more. Next week, King will take on Chicago Vocational on the road. Uh, we just got to be more efficient. Um, we punted the ball. I think we punted it twice. We didn't get it in in the end zone one time. It's got to be more efficient offensively, play situational football better, um, and I think we'll be fine. But I, I like where we are this season. Uh, we're getting ready for October. I am Claude Martinez reporting for Will Cook County News.